2020 model year, big changes are coming to the Ford Explorer. That guy knows. Oh. <laughs> For example, <laughs> yeah, there's only half a car. It's a big change. <laughs> Change number one, it'll be built on an all-new rear-wheel drive platform, just like its Lincoln Aviator sibling. Standard gear in 2020 Explorers includes 18-inch wheels, a power liftgate, an 8-inch SYNC 3 infotainment system, and a 300-horsepower, 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine linked to a 10-speed automatic transmission. For even more gusto, a 3-liter EcoBoost V6 is featured in the Platinum trim, making at least 365 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque, also offering a 5,600 pound tow capacity. According to Ford, that's a 12% bump versus the current 3.5-liter EcoBoost. Of note, the 6th generation Explorer is the first to be offered as a hybrid, as indicated by this badge. With a 3.3-liter engine and a liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery pack, the Explorer Hybrid delivers 318 horsepower and yet undisclosed fuel economy. Need a family SUV with sporting flair? Consider the Explorer ST. Anchored by a 400-horsepower, 3-liter EcoBoost engine, the ST is the most powerful Explorer ever. Its high-performance machismo is matched by a sporty dark aesthetic, flat-bottom steering wheel, and leather bucket front seats. All-wheel drive is standard on the ST and optional on lower versions. From an optional technology perspective, the Explorer can be outfitted with a 360-degree camera system, blind spot warning that covers the trailer you might be towing, reverse brake assist, and active park assist 2.0, which unlike previous active parking systems, you don't have to operate the throttle brake, it'll do it by itself. Fun fact, last time I used Ford's auto park system in a Ford F-150, it backed itself right into the curb. Sure, it was a fluke. But I look like I was a classic bull in a china shop or an ox. Ox would be more appropriate. On the safety front, Ford Copilot 360 is a suite of standard technologies that includes automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, lane keeping assist, and a backup camera with a lens cleaner. For even greater driving ease, buyers can add evasive steering assist, which does exactly as its name suggests, and adaptive cruise control with speed sign recognition, a feature that automatically keeps the Explorer in its lane and adjusts speed based on traffic and the speed limit where you're driving. We call that buzzkill mode. For customizing the Explorer's drive behavior, there's a new terrain management system with up to seven modes, including an eco mode I will never use. Sorry, the, the planet. Let's see, first impressions. Well, hard stuff where you would expect the hard stuff to be, but that stitching is nice. I like this little pattern here. Second row comforts, reclines. <laughs> Slides to an uncomfortable position with the knees, and then back to a very comfortable position. Good space, nice outward visibility. Oh, 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 and second row uh, blinds, so you can uh, keep the sun out of your children's eyes. Let's see what's happening in the third row. I don't know why I'm whispering. Let's see. Should, uh, should this be letting me back there? There's uh, definitely a button here that should be letting me back here, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Well, I'm going over the top. Yeah, smooth. So that seat slides forward so my knees won't be quite so cramped into the seat back here. In terms of third row head space, though, that's, that's really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'll move over here so you can see me a little bit better, if that's a thing you want. Yeah, I think with the second row in the right position, this is a very inhabitable third row. Very nice. One of the things I really like as a father, and God, I hate starting sentences with that phrase, is the fact that Ford has updated their uh, anchor system for car seats, so you can place a car seat in any of the rear seats. So uh, if my three and a half year old daughter starts to get fussy, back to the third row with you. Just like daddy. Hmm. If you'd like to fill your 2020 Explorer with cargo, there's a healthy 87.8 cubic feet available to you with the second and third row stowed. You should also talk about the Explorer's optional 10.1 inch touchscreen. I like that it's big and features a large capacitive glass screen like you'd have in a smartphone and includes modern smartphone integration for both Apple and Android users, but I kind of wish they had a somewhat more integrated design. And I will say, if you start addressing a camera, whoever's between you and that camera will pretty quickly vacate the seat you want to get in. <laughs> Let's do some B-roll, shall we? Oh. 
We don't yet know how much it'll cost, but we do know that the 2020 Ford Explorer will be released into the wild in the summer of 2019. Oh, I think there's gonna be hot dogs.